Hey folks, it's Maxi here and welcome to another TW 2020 video. You join us on the WWF save with another end of month big show. And this time, you could say it's technically a Halloween special as we are in October. Some good news to report since you last joined us. We have taken the step. We are now a big company. We have managed to gather the popularity in all the needed regions that has taken us up a little. Another effect of this which is going to help us is we are now on a better slot for our television deal and I believe we are evening for that. We're not quite prime time. I couldn't guarantee we were consistently going to get the ratings to keep the broadcaster happy to go prime time but pay-per-view is a prime time so hopefully we should see a little bit of a boost there on cable vision uh, so that was I think 70 odd rating so I was quite confident we would surpass that pretty much every time. The last time we ran this show last year 77 show rating 46,000 again we're in the um, Yankee Stadium so we are going to be looking at 55,000 sellout and hopefully a good show here. It's quite interesting as well looking at last year's card you can see the Road Warriors are now over a year as tag champions with Gino, still as Intercontinental Champion, you Eddie Gilbert in there, Jimmy Snucker was still winning matches and Kurt Henning before the roster was turned against them was uh, yeah WWF Champion. How times change. So we'll crack on with the show, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let's have another stellar show. So we start off very strong. We are going to have a six man tag of the aftermath of what happened at the event last uh, month where we had the Bounty Hunters attack Andre. Now with David Schultz and Dutch Mansell they don't get on well together as a tag team which is a shame because I think they'd have been perfect. So the plan is now to give him a six man tag so we've allowed Jerry Lawler to get a good opportunity here and join alongside Andre and Hogan and that gave us a spectacular 92 rated promo to start the show they are all on the same page and it could be a very very good six man tag so that's going to help our rating because that will no doubt be our highest angle of the show the opening contest was for the Intercontinental Championship and Larry Zabisco has been on a great run of victories and this continued and about that had great heat and good wrestling Larry Zabisco defeated Jim Duggan in 1753 following interference from his manager Bobby the Brain Heenan this allows Larry Zabisco to make the 8th defence of the Intercontinental Championship a very good opener at 81 Zabisco continues to have great performances when 84 and we got the crowd hotter with a very very good opener. He's back in the WWF, another short contract for freelancer Stan Hansen and he's coming right back to fight Kurt Henning. That was a 56 rating for his promo so not the greatest but his cowboy gimmick was debuted again and it was an adequate rating. Match itself was a 74. Hansen wins with the Western Lariat within just under 17 minutes. Not great, but we need to keep Job and Kurt heading out. And I felt like Stan Hansen was the best bet for that on this occasion. Next up, in an abysmal match, or storytelling match of the evening, Nikita and Ivan Koloff defeated Tony Guerrero and Steve Regal. In 7.42 when Koloff, well Nikita Koloff, so both Koloffs, pinned Steve Regal with the Russian sickle. Just a 49, Garea and Regal don't work as a team. Nikita Koloff was off his game which is disappointing considering uh, after the last big show everyone was bigging Nikita Koloff up with someone we had to push. So it was to give him a good victory on the main stage and hopefully help with his gain. In popularity. Speaking of a, a tag team division, we have to we have uh, Dory and Terry Funk 
and it was a good bout, it had good heat, decent wrestling. Terry Funk and Dory Funk Jr. defeated Arthur and Seeker, the Wild Samoans, in 11.50 when Terry Funk pinned Arthur with a pile driver. 82 is a very acceptable result here. Gives Terry and Dory a good victory and as I say, Arthur and Seeker can take a loss and usually still seem to be okay. Hogan and Andre then cut a promo on the Bounty Hunters just basically helping the, sto- the week in a mini storyline going on, obviously, that they attacked um, Andre at the last event and how they're going to get revenge for him. It's frustrating because Hogan doesn't like to be scripted. Andre can't really carry the promo, so we kind of rely on a kind of happy medium of Hogan making it great and Andre bringing it down. Just one of those things, unfortunately. Match itself was very successful, though. About the had great heat and good wrestling as a team of Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, and Jerry Lawler defeated Jake Roberts and the Bounty Hunters in 1813 when Hulk Hogan pinned Dutch Mantel with a big leg drop. Of course, no one else was going to get the victory. Great performances by the baby faces 87 for Lawler and Hogan, 90 for Andre, and still pretty respectable in the heel camp, but overall an 88. It leads us to our main event, the King of the Ring, Gino Hernandez, is going to challenge to take the WWF title away from Ric Flair. So that was a 63, as Gino says, got my throne, just need my belt, and the match itself. Had great heat and good wrestling, and we had Ric Flair defeat Gino Hernandez in 1458 by submission, giving Ric his first defence of the World Heavyweight title. Gino can't go more than 50 minutes, unfortunately, or we get the road agent saying he's tiring. And it wouldn't be sensible having a longer match. But it gives him a good spotlight here and a good victory for the Nature Boy. And a good first title defence. Overall, show gets an 85. Pretty small show, but I'd say a very, very solid one. And it increases our popularity in 11 regions, but... Again, it's a case of trying to keep a lot of the bigger guys away from each other to ensure that WrestleMania truly is the showcase of the immortals when icons and legends to be in the future face each other. So the show itself, fantastic reviews. 725,000 watched the show with a 1.45 buy rate. And if we just quickly jump in to the top 100... Just want to have a look here and have a look here and absolutely smashes a buy rate by a big way. So not 0.38 ahead of the September show. So very, very happy with that. So that's us for this particular episode. We'll carry on to November. And as I say, if you did enjoy what you saw here, the sub button just allows all the videos to drop into your inbox. These episodes are weekly right up until WrestleMania. And of course we have various other shows on the channel as well and if you want to buy the game yourself check out the description below uh, everything there that you would need so thanks very much for watching stay safe and hopefully i'll see you soon bye bye